Which is always a major concern when you have a storm like this rolling in and Georgia Power activates a major resource. And all of the planning and coordination to help you happens in the storm center. That's where we find CBS 46's Savannah Louie right now. Savannah, that room filled with people making big decisions. Yeah, a lot of important decisions being made here today. We're talking about important meetings, phone calls. Right now, they're tracking the storm using the latest models. No major power outages in Georgia right now, but they are preparing for what's to come in a matter of days. So whatever it is that Hurricane Ian brings, we'll be prepared to respond. Inside the Georgia Power Storm Center, confidence over any scenario Hurricane Ian could sweep in. So this is really the hub of where everything happens. This is where we're making our plans. Georgia Power says the Storm Center is an ongoing effort throughout the year, but operations pick up as the storm approaches. Decisions made in here will directly impact some of the company's 2.7 million customers. We're making our plans. We're talking to our crews out in the field. So understanding where we have resources, understanding where our trucks are, understanding our mutual assistance where we can call on other utilities to come and support us. As the storm approaches, the number of people operating inside the storm center will jump from 10 to 40 or 50. It only gets this busy a few times a year during major threats. On the ground, Georgia power crews deployed to Florida Tuesday. Additional crews could join them later this week. So we're ramping up as the storm is making landfall in Florida and will continue to do so as it makes its way up the coast. Georgia Power also asking you to do your part by preparing at home. This includes charging your devices, planning to communicate with neighbors, family and friends, and also keeping an emergency supply kit ready and accessible. They say that we could see some pretty powerful winds in the state as early as Thursday. For now, reporting live in Atlanta, Fulton County, Savannah Louie, CBS 46 News.